So your website is all set up. It's all ready to go. All you need is a bunch of traffic and visibility going to your website day after day. And the best way to do this is by using SEO, which is search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is a useful tool to bring traffic to your website without you having to do anything or lift a finger. It all works automatically by people searching in what they want to find and then finding your business. If your website and your business is relatively new, then it might take a little time to get some traction on the search engines, but following the steps that I'm going to show you in this tutorial are going to set you on the right path to optimizing your website for search engine visibility today. This is my final video in my freelance business startup series, which is sponsored by Wix. Wix is the platform that I use for all my website design and creation services, and they have awesome SEO tools that are just going to be the cherry on top of your business website. Wix walks you through all the steps that you need to take to get your website SEO optimized. They created an intuitive tool called the Wix SEO Wiz, and that is what I'm going to be showing you how to set up and operate today. And don't forget to use this link down below in the description box to start building your website with Wix, so let's get into it. So using the link in the description below, let's go ahead and go to Wix. And if you don't have a website already, just click start now and create an account and just click create new site. But I'm going to be editing the SEO on my existing website for brittanynew.com. So click select site to be taken to the Wix dashboard. Wix has a ton of SEO features that you can use to optimize your website for search engines, whether you're like me and you don't know a lot about SEO, or if you're an advanced professional and you want advanced features to optimize your website from the inside. So I'm going to walk you through the Wix SEO Wiz, which is a step-by-step -step plan that will help you optimize your website's SEO by just following the steps. So we're going to use the Wix SEO Wiz to get found on search engines like Google and other search engines. So let's click start now and go through the process. So first, what is your business or site name? It's pre engine for me, brittanynew.com. Then a business location. My business is only online. How would you describe your business? So those are the three keywords that I'm going to select. Create an SEO plan. So now the SEO Wiz is working on it to create an optimal SEO plan for my website. So here is my SEO setup checklist. So as you can see, some of the things have already been completed and some of the things still haven't been done yet. And here it will walk you through all the steps that you need to have your website optimized for search engines. Once you're done with that, there is another checklist and each of these things is very important to pay attention to, so I would suggest taking it very seriously. So let's set the homepage's title for search results. So as you go through this process, it's going to give you different recommendations for the text that it wants you to copy and paste into your website. So you're basically going to toggle between the dashboard here and the Wix website editor, where you're going to edit the page titles and descriptions and make sure to include keywords that are relevant to your business that you want to appear for on Google or other search engines. They have the Google site verification from the website dashboard, which is a feature that helps you list your site on Google's search results by connecting it to the Google search console. The process verifies your domain ownership and then submits your sitemap seamlessly in less than 60 seconds, all from the Wix dashboard. In addition to the Google site verification, it will also verify your website on other search engines such as Yandex, Bing, and Pinterest. So I'm going to walk you through the Google search console process because I found it to be a little bit tricky at first, but it's actually really simple. So all you have to do is click go for it and then click connect now, then click go to Google search console and enter your website domain. Click continue and it's going to check your website for verification. So it's going to give you this code that you're going to copy and paste. And then just go over to the website settings and I just searched DNS to find this page and you'll be taken to the domain settings. Then click on the three dots and click manage DNS records. And then scroll down to the area where it says TXT. Then click add a record and where it says value, paste that code that it gave you in the Google search console and then click save. Then you're going to go back to the SEO tab. Click back to connect now. 
and it's going to register that your website is connected with the right code and it's going to connect your site to Google for you. And now it's done. So then I'm just going to go through and complete all the other steps on my checklist. Your checklist may look different and may have more or less things to do, but it really walks you through every single step of the way. You don't have to guess. It tells you what to type and gives you suggestions. So it's really just a matter of copy and pasting the recommended text into your website editor. Then when your SEO checklist is done, you'll get a notification like this and it will invite you to check out the Wix SEO guide, which has even more information about how you can optimize for SEO. Let me go over some other Wix SEO features. And there are custom meta tags. If you don't know what meta tags are, they're areas in HTML code that contain information about your website. So Wix suggests that the meta tags accurately describe your website content so that the search engines can find you. And you can add any meta tags that you want to help the search engines understand more about your pages and make the search crawlers process your site correctly. You can also add structured data and schema markup so that search engines can understand which content can be displayed as a rich result. Again, this is just giving search engines even more information about your business, and they might want to know things like your operating hours or your rates or things like that. Wix can also help you create and maintain your XML sitemaps, and this is another feature that helps search engines find and crawl the pages on your website. Then there are SEO patterns, and these are SEO-friendly tags and URLs with advanced patterns. And the pattern allows you to edit a page one time, and then your custom pattern will be applied to all the pages across your website. And if you want to take your website SEO to the next level, you can do so much more with Wix, such as adding marketing integrations like Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Google Data Studio and the Facebook Pixel, and I highly recommend integrating all of those features. And this way you know that you have all the data from your website and you're able to see what's working and what's not working in your marketing campaigns. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to set up your website for excellent SEO. This is definitely something that you don't want to miss out on. According to their blog, this tool has helped 67% of Wix websites end up on the first page of Google. So that could definitely be your business and your website bringing you all that traffic. So I wish you the best of luck and continuing your freelance business endeavors. And I've also created this free PDF checklist for you to download by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much to Wix for sponsoring this video and this video series. It's been such a pleasure to collaborate with them on this project and deliver all this information to you guys and help you grow your businesses. So I wish you the best of luck and don't forget to use this link in the description down below to start building your website and building your business with Wix today. If you found this tutorial useful, then please give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more information on how to grow your business, design tips, travel, and creative projects. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.